What are you doing? Have you checked out Saving Green Lawn Care over there on Instagram? What? You haven't? Then I don't know what the f you're doing with your life. <laughs> Good morning, ninjas. <clears throat> Good morning. It's Saturday, and we ninjas are out here working in this dewy grass. Rained all evening last night. Super wet, nasty clunk. As you guys can see, it's all over. So, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys, look at this. It's bad. <clears throat> it's pretty bad in the front, too. Look at that. Okay. So one of the things I want to talk to you about is what you can do when it clunks up like this to make it look somewhat decent, presentable, and uh, nice looking instead of leaving clunks like this. Okay, so <clears throat> I just blew off the mower. It was covered. So there's a couple of things you can do. Three or four things. First one, if you're a homeowner, just don't mow. Just wait till it dries up and uh, you should be fine. <clears throat> okay, but if you're a business owner, such as myself, <laughs> and you have a schedule to keep, with, keep up with, such as myself, then you still have to mow and keep going, such as myself. <laughs> all right so what can we do so first thing you can do is cut it then raise the deck a little bit and rerun it the opposite direction so if i went this way the next this next time go this way so it'll help but it won't necessarily fix the problem completely another thing you can do two more things okay you can literally just rake everything up and pick it up because it's wet and you take the rakes you rake it all up and you bag it or you know throw it in the woods or whatever but who has time for that ninjas not to mention what if you're not charging the customer for that they haven't paid for that they're not going to pay for that because that's an ex you know additional charge that they did not expect to have you don't want to come across to a customer and be like hey it's clunky there's gonna be an extra charge because i gotta pick all this up no customer wants to hear it if I was a customer, I wouldn't want to hear it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, by the way, I ordered myself new uh, wireless 3M. You can connect them to your phone. <clears throat> I know it's off topic, Ninjas, but I, I saw them right here. So I figured if I don't do it now, I'll forget. You can Bluetooth it to your phone or just listen to the radio. And it does take batteries, double A's. So, anyway, they're in. I love them. Okay. <clears throat> so the only other thing you can do after you run it for the second time with your deck up is take the blowers, the backpack blowers, and just thoroughly blow everything off. Now it's still not going to be like 100% clear, but it'll be like 99% clear, okay? So after I rerun it second time, as you can hear the blower, if you can, James has already started blowing off because there's just no way that, let's go to the front and show you that even the second time running it over with a mower is gonna get rid of everything. <clears throat> a lot of you guys already know this, but this is more of like for some of you who, again, are just now getting into the business and are trying to learn as much as possible. And if you come across something like this, you wouldn't know what to do, okay? <clears throat> Look at the front. Cut the blower. Cut the blower, James. What are you doing, James? Well, I wasn't yelling at you a minute ago, but uh -huh. I had Michael Jackson in one ear and the blower in the other, and I'm like, oh. hey, man. <laughs> I bet you, I was wondering, why are you yelling at me? So what do you, <laughs> tell the ninjas, what are you doing? Oh, I'm having to blow the whole thing. Blowing the whole thing. Well, you're pretty good at blowing the whole yes. thing. Yes, I am, but you know, it's, it's very clunky because it's wet. It's very clunky because it's wet. So, as I was telling them, I'm going to rerun it again by the mower, but it's not going to help. It'll help a little, but not completely. So the only other thing we can do is blow off or take the rakes and rake everything up. But who's got time for that? 
Yeah, also, you're the Batman alone cares. So, yeah. Uh, we just stick with the blower. Yeah, we just get the blower and blow it all off. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, I wanted to show them what you were doing and, you know, show them how clunky it is this morning from all the rain last night. But we still got to keep the schedule, get everything done so we don't carry it over any into next week. And, uh, you know, we got to get her done. That's right. The list is law. The list is law. All right. That hole was full a minute ago. Yeah. I cleaned it right out. And now it looks like it needs more weed eating, right? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that something? All right. Let me get you going. There you go. Ooh. Looks like somebody get me going in the morning. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You've seen what he's doing. You've seen what we got to do. It sucks. It's not fun. But you got to do what you got to do to make it look presentable, respectable, and that you did a good job. People are paying you for this. You're not going to, I would never leave a yard like this. So it sucks. It sucks, but it is what it is. So anyway, just wanted to quickly show you this. This is some of the things you can do when you come across a dewy or a wet from rain lawn and it clunks up and don't don't give me that hole if you had this mower if you had that mower nick it wouldn't do that bull crap i don't care what mower you have i've mowed this yard now for years and i've been mowing it with scabbers and they clunk too when it's this wet every mower will clunk um i don't care what mower brand what deck some might be a little bit better than others but when it's dewy and when it's super wet from rain it'll clunk okay so <clears throat> speaking of mowers and blades purchased new blades yesterday and uh i purchased them for a good price jacob hooked uh, hooked me up we went to one of the uh shops that's a local small shop it's not <clears throat> where i bought the mowers or it's not you know and uh they had some really good prices <clears throat> and anyway so i'll be replacing those hopefully uh, tomorrow if i'm not you know too busy i gotta clean out the decks anyway and get everything ready for next week so all right not i want to talk too long we'll see you at the next one or maybe i'll show you a little bit of the uh aftermath once everything is rerun second time and blown everything off so see you dinges as you can see the clunks are gone I re-ran it second time and then James just blew everything off with the blower. Same thing over here and also in the front. Everything is blown off, mowed twice, and uh, it's looking back to, back to normal, you know, back in shape. No clunks and it's mowed. So these are some of the things you can do when you're dealing with clunky wet grass, all right? What is going on, ninjas? What is going on? It's Sunday, and look at that. You see that? Yeah, that doesn't look too good. I was actually gonna mow my front yard today and show you guys, you hear that thunder? I don't know if you guys heard it, but it's it's coming this way. So I am very skeptical on starting because uh, I don't wanna get caught in the middle of it, so. I'm waiting a few more minutes just to see if it's something that's going to go that way or pass or what because I really don't want to get caught up in it. But in the meantime, as you guys can see, the boxes are gone because I did open them. I broke everything apart. I had Jacob help me. We did this a few days ago. And I brought it in the garage. It's not organized by all means. So uh, bear with me on that. It's kind of fully loaded in here now. Because um, we basically just pushed it in here. So that way it's off the rain and things like that. So let me show you Mama Ninja's gift. And um, also let me show you why I wanted to go ahead and mow my front yard. Well, besides neat, it needs it. But also... Um, I'm trying to get it down to a lower. I'm, I've been slowly going down, uh, bringing the deck height down lower and lower. And there's a reason for that because Husqvarna sent me, that's right, Ninja, sent Sensei Nick a mower that for me to try out and install. And in order for me to do that, I think it just did a lightning. In order for me to do that, I had to bring it down to two and a half inches of... Um, height of the lawn so let me 
get that out of out here in the open so I can show you that. But let me also show you. Thought that was like massive wind. Let me also show you what Mama Ninja got, and I do apologize for the mess in here. It will get organized. So here we go. First, I want to show you. I got some new blades, so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get them today. I was planning on it, but with this weather that's literally hovering right above um, above the house, and I'm not sure. You know, it's thundering. I don't know if I'm going to do anything today as far as uh, mowing goes or this, but. Um, I bought the 52 in the heavy duty style and then I bought the uh, regular ones uh, for the right standards as far as for the 61. If you can tell guys a difference, I'm going to try to get this, but one of the ways you can tell a good solid heavy duty blade from a regular blade is the really thick metal heavy duty solid blade has a bigger lip. So if you look guys, look at, look at how much how much that lip is higher than this okay and the higher the lip the better the thicker the metal and also dispensing that grass is a lot better when the metal is a lot thicker and also of course the higher the lip so keep that in mind when you're searching for blades always make sure you go with the higher lip and thicker metal okay uh, they didn't have it for the 61 so I just got these um, they didn't have it at the time uh, but they did have it for the 52 so I did get that okay so I figured I'll show you a couple of things that I've been meaning to show you it's just been so busy but let's start with the actual father's gift from mama ninja and if you haven't checked out mama ninja on YouTube and on Instagram go check out mama ninja uh, and she's got a lot of cool things. She's going to get back into the videos. We, she's just taking a little bit of a time just because uh, Baby Ninja has been taking a lot of her time here lately. But these are some of the cabinets that came in. All right. So, and I apologize for the lighting, guys. We are in the garage. So uh, it's not the best. And I know that, but there's nothing I can do at the moment. So, and then you've got cabinets down here. <clears throat> of course, you got your drawers. See that? I like that. All right, then you got another drawer. All right, and then you got drawers down here. You got a trash can. I mean, it's basically a whole workshop, guys. So uh, then there's a huge table, which is right here. I didn't even take it out of the box yet. It's a bamboo table. So that'll be pretty nifty. This is kind of what it looks like right here, guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the setup exactly like this because I've got three of these big ones instead of one. And I think I'm going to do mine on both walls of the garage instead of just in one spot. But here's all the stuff. Again, I apologize about the messiness of the garage. Here's one of the big cabinets. Okay. Really, really big. Uh, and I do have shelves and stuff I can put, so that'll be pretty good. Um, oops. Obviously, here's another one. Same deal. I don't need to really go into detail on this. And then here's the other one, of course. So there's three of them. Pretty solid and really just a lot of room, ninjas. And I need a lot of room. So once we clear out the garage and get all these organized, this garage is going to actually have a lot of room in there. So now that I've showed you all that, let me show you some of the things that a couple of companies reached out and sent to me. And so I want to just introduce it to you and show it to you. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, any of this stuff, because again, just so busy. But obviously I haven't forgotten it. Um, so I'm going to share with you. Give me your thoughts and opinions of what you think on each one of these um and uh i'll obviously make another video once i get to use some of this stuff so here we go all right first up i want to start out with a company called shock strap shock strap right there and a company called toe dogs usa toe dog uh usa okay so toe dog usa is this right here obviously i haven't gotten a chance to use it yet let's go out here on the light and what it is is basically if you get a vehicle stuck, if you get a mower stuck, whatever, uh, you hook this up to it. And as you can see, this is designed exactly to fit on your ball hitch uh, that is connected to your truck. You go uh, through right here and then you just 
pull it down and it sits right in there so uh, i really want to say thank you for sending me out a sample and i will definitely uh keep this handy and um keep it in a toolbox and if we ever uh, end up needing to use it uh, i will definitely make a video on that other company guys that reached out is shock strap and shock strap is obviously some straps uh that you can tie down your mowers or if you're carrying a load on your truck or a trailer whatever it may be and there's the number if you uh and shockstrap.com if you guys uh, think you uh, might like this so go check them out but i will definitely uh when I do use these guys, I'll make a video and give my opinion again. So this is kind of more of just an introduction uh, video to some of these products that I got. Another product that a company reached out to me and sent me is a Tri-Clone Trimmer Head Ninjas. And apparently from what I've been told, it should fit just about any weed eater. Super easy installation. And you got these blades, which comes with extra blades. And you got these blades uh, that can literally cut up to um even small trees uh you can actually even like weed eat with this thing if i'm not mistaken because it says right here no more wire innovative and safe blades for edging and cutting grass um i'm gonna pl i'm planning on using this here very soon i've got like two jobs lined up or about to be lined up actually just more of scheduling um that it's basically like some brush that needs to be cut down so I'm going to go ahead and check this out and I'll do the full installation and usage and give my opinion on it. Of course, uh, there's the uh, company uh, Amcor. And if you want to go check it out on uh, their website, amcortea.com. Okay, before we get to the real big uh, thing uh, in the big box, which is... Uh, the mower that they sent me, uh, Husqvarna, and uh, they wanted me to try out, and which is one of the reasons why I got to bring my front yard down to two and a half inches. So I've been slowly working down on it every uh, week or two that I get to mow, because um, I had it up at around four and a half inches, guys, and I don't want to cut it down super low, super fast, and deal with all that uh, clunks and all that big mess. So, <clears throat> but before we get to that, I uh, we've been having a lot of trouble with our steel handheld blower uh, it still works it's not by all means like completely gave up on us but and I know it probably could use a good tune-up with as far as a spark plug maybe air filter and even maybe look at the carburetor but Husqvarna sent us a handheld blower so Figured uh, I do. I just cut it literally uh, with a uh, with the scissors. So I have this is a, you know, I haven't taken anything out. So here we go. Uh, these are the nozzles. So we'll get these out. I do want to say while I'm doing this, thank you, Husqvarna. I really appreciate you guys uh, for uh, you know sending me all the stuff that you have sent me uh, from the battery stuff, the hedge trimmers, the weed eaters. Uh, the handheld blower, all that stuff is great. Um, so I do want to say thank you for that. I really appreciate that. So here we go. Get that out. And here it is, guys. This is the, uh, the new Husqvarna 525BX. I will be uh, having another video and using this me and james will use this and give our opinion on it and what we think and uh, maybe even compare it a little bit just uh uh towards the steel that i've had now for a couple years but there you go yeah i'm gonna put this together and i'll have it ready by next video okay so here it is this is the husqvarna auto mower that they sent me checking this thing out i think i do have to email them or call them uh i gotta get a certain pin that uh will program the mower so uh this is uh the installation kit it is uh large so i'll be able to just do the front yard i don't really want to mess with the backyard and uh, all that stuff is too much so we got her open and as you can see these are a bunch of those little um ground sticks that you poke down to hold your wire and so we're going to go through all of it in detail of how to install this. Again, I think this is more for a homeowner use, obviously, not for a commercial. Um, and this particular model, you have to keep your grass at two and a half inches at all times. 
I do believe there are uh, they are designing another model uh, at the end of this year that is going to um, be able to have adjustable heights. Hopefully they'll send me maybe the uh, other one as well and I'll be happy to compare to this one uh, and see how well it does in the uh, tall grass. So, but this one, this particular one is only in two and a half uh, inches. So here we go. It is quite impressive guys. So this is what it looks like underneath. Hold on, let me adjust the camera a little here. This is what it looks like underneath. Check that out. And that is the blade that cuts. And I do believe there's actually blades in there that are hiding it. I'm not really sure. Hmm. So that is the auto mower 430X. Anyway guys, um, I just wanted to introduce that to you, show you a couple of different things uh, to look forward to. And I'll be giving my opinion on it and review. And of course, with this thing, I'm going to be showing you the actual installation. And uh, I may even have to call them and get some uh, tips and uh, things if I need help. Because again, I've never had one of these. I've never used them. But this is pretty cool. Like this thing is really, uh, really bulkier than I for some reason pictured. So this thing is awesome. But there you have it. I'm going to put this back. And then let's look at the weather and we'll either mow the front yard or we'll conclude this video.